I, I get asked quite a lot about how we plan routes and check the road quality uh, when we do the tour. So I thought I'd give you a quick rough and ready tutorial on how to do it in Google Maps. Um, I've got Google Maps open now. Um, and it's actually centered on one of our hotels, so all I need to do is to zoom in for you. And that will take us to um, this resort hotel here, which is where we're staying. Um, and to start the route planning, you pick um, a road right next to the hotel, you right click and you do directions from here. Now, as soon as you do that, you'll see you get your first waypoint appear on the left hand side here. Subsequent waypoints will appear underneath. There's a maximum of 10, unfortunately. Uh, in Google Maps, which is a bit of a pain, but hopefully they'll change that at some point. Now, I want to take the group down here, this road, which is the N260, it's an awesome bit of road, and, um, you know, so let's say the next waypoint is going to be here. You right-click the road and you click the directions to here. However, as you can see, it hasn't gone where I wanted it to go, because I wanted to go up here, from the N260, and back again, let's chop that off. So, what we need to do is to go back up to here, and to drop the second waypoint on the bit of road that we want to travel on. I want to stay on the N260. And then you'd think you could just right click here and click add another destination and over on the left it will put another one in the sequence and indeed you can but it's again taken us off the N260 onto this little kind of go tracky road. I quite like actually now that you get a in Google Maps you sometimes get a picture come up to show you what the road's like but it, you can't it's not really good enough to see but I'm going to go through how to check the road quickly in a minute so I can see looking at this road here I probably need to put a waypoint in there and then if I add another waypoint or add another destination my fourth one um, I can see it skip that bit as well and so I'm gonna have to put one there that doesn't happen very often if I'm honest and um, it's a, just a bit unusual on this route. There's so many little tiny mountain cut through passes. So now I'm going to do my next waypoint. Right and click here, add destination. And my fifth one you see in the list has taken us down there. Now one of the things that you can do to use as few waypoints as possible is you can right uh, left click on this destination here. And I'm going to go down this road because I know it's a particularly good one. Um, and as you pull it along, you'll see the route just carries on going to the point where you're dragging the end point. What will happen though is you'll get to a point and it'll jump um, because it decides to take the quickest route all the time. At that point you need to go back keeping hold of the mouse. I go back a fair way because if you're really near the cusp where it flips between the two it, it sometimes recalculates wrong when you send the route to somebody. So go back a little way, drop the waypoint and then you're off to do your next waypoint. Now I want to come all the way down this road and along here. So my next waypoint I'm going to let's just do this little road here, add destination and you'll see it creates another one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going okay at the moment. Um, I'm going to now drag this along this road and it's going to follow the road that I want to go down um, and then down here oh, so I get to that point and again it's going to jump around because that's quicker so I need a, I know I need to back up and go to about there and now I'm going to need another waypoint and I right click here and add another destination the next destination pops in the list here and you'll see it's continued the route and again I can drag this on until I get to here and then it jumps across so I need to go back to about there that's good um, then I'll add a waypoint I reckon looking at that there's no roads there so I reckon I can probably go quite some way now um, add a destination there and it gives me the route and then as I drag up that I'm probably going to get all the way back to the hotel without having to change the route anymore and indeed I did so here we've got a nice little 253 kilometer uh, route if you want that in English you can click to the options and just change it to miles 157 mile route um, and that all looks really good and we've got uh, what um, seven way eight waypoints right back to the hotel and um, so we've done it within the 10 which is good so now I'm going to show you how we check the quality of the roads um, we don't really want to be going down any goat tracks and that used to be a bit of a trademark of ours but we don't do it anymore because we check the roads and this is how we do it um, 
the first thing you want to do is go to your first main road. Let's we'll take a look at this N260. You drag, drag the little man that you got here, and you go and drop him on the road somewhere. Let's drop him on, say, there. And it'll take you a picture of the road. Now, I can see, I know this road's great. It's great fun. It's just a lovely road, and it goes on for about 300 miles. We're just doing a short section of it here. Um, but to make it quick to look around the route, the best thing to do is to go down to this little expand box here and click it, and then you get a split screen where you get the roof on this side and the road on the top side. Now you can't zoom out that far, but you can zoom out far enough, you can zoom in and out on this map, but you can't zoom out to the entire route, but you can zoom out fast enough to make it so that you can check the route pretty quickly. Um, and all you do is you click on the route and it will jump you there and give you the next section of it. So I can go down here and um, quite know what the route's doing there, but it doesn't look like it's too much to worry about. Um, let's zoom down the route and um, and check this bit. Again, it's what I've, I've dropped it slightly off the road, but there you go. Yeah, the road's fine. Obviously, that bit's a bit straight. And then we're on this road. <laughs> it looks fantastic. We want to check the road surface, so let's click on there. And we see, yes, it's actually a fantastic road. Even though it looks like it's a little narrow one, it's, it's sometimes the map doesn't really represent how big the road is. Um, we'll look at a couple of these bends. Um, yeah, that looks, looks fine. Um, the route came down here. It crossed that road, went along here. This is another new road, so let's check a couple of bits. That, again, it looks lovely. That's all fine. Here we're going up into the National Park. Let's check that. Okay, so we're down to a single um, track road now. There's no sense of what I but it actually looks like it's a pretty good road surface, and, and that'll be that'll be good fun. So we'll we'll stick on that. There's you know a bend or two here to go down, so that should be fun. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Um, it's a little bit not quite so good road. It's a bit patchy, but but it's um it's only a fairly short section. Um, so then we're going to carry on going down here and check the. 462 to see what that's like and yeah we're back to dual uh, dual sided road now which is good we'll check this road here beautiful yeah that's lovely let's just check a few points along the way uh, I've actually dropped that on a junction let's go back a bit there uh, yeah look at that so we've been doing that's fine some nice little wiggly bits here let's check those out oh yeah oh well that might be fun yeah um, and uh, as you can see it's all pretty good now that's where we leave um, this particular road 4241 which is good all the way down and we're on this one which is the 16 um, oh, I just dropped us into a tunnel um, so this is probably going to be a fast road because if it's got tunnels it means they're going through the mountains not around them um, and it is of course it is a fast road mine just got looks like goes along the side of a a lake there which looks pretty nice. Uh, might have found somewhere for coffee, that's a bit of a bonus. Um, actually sometimes what I do is I drop the mouse onto the a town and see if I can find somewhere to stop for coffee. It's nice to have it planned in if you can. It um, takes a bit of the pressure off. The, the thing I like about this map of course is that some of these side roads that we haven't necessarily even routed, you can actually have a quick look at them while you're here and see what they're like. That was not bad. Most of the roads around here is pretty good actually. I like the French side where you can get some real gravel tracks. Um, and yes, that's a, a nice fast road. I mean, you can see. So um, that road takes us all the way up. Um, don't really need to drop on, drop on too much more of it. Um, there's a few straights there. Should be able to clear the cobwebs out. That's probably a tunnel, is it? Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> Dead straight bits very often tunnels because they don't do bends in tunnels. And then um, some couple of nice sweepies there. And then we're round the loop and back up to the hotel. And that's it. Um, so we've checked the route. We know it's a nice one. Um, now we're going to use this arrow here to go back to the full map. And we're going to send this, um, we're going to share it. And we can share it on the forum. So what I'll, first thing I'll do is check the first parts of the names here. There's another bug, unfortunately, with the Google Maps uh, or the Google Map Embedding Program, in that sometimes it puts spaces in the URL. If you've dropped the 
um, markers on the road, you should be fine. But if you drop the marker on a name and the name happens to have more than one word, like here, for example, I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but you can see that it's got more than one word. Uh, then it puts a space in, and then that stops it embedding properly. Um, so in that, if that was the case, you'd have to go and move the marker along from the road, which is easy enough to do. Um, I can show you, take a marker point here, you zoom in, grab the marker itself, and just move it along the road a little bit. It won't affect the route in any way, but it'll it'll rewrite the, uh, the front name if you've dropped it on a town. Okay, um, now to share the route, um, if you click on the menu here, and you go down to share or embed, and um, there's two ways of sharing it. You can send someone a link. Sometimes it's nice to send them a short link. So then you copy and paste that into an email. Um, or alternatively, you can embed the map. And I'll show you how to embed the map. Um, you can decide how big you want it. Medium sounds good. Right click on the route, click copy. And then let's quickly open the tab to take you to the forum. Um, doesn't matter what forum I go to, just go to Barking Abroad, but I'm not going to actually post this, so it, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, um, so I'm going to say I'm going to post a new thread. Uh, the title can be anything. I'll click here. Now, this is the button you want. It's the Media Embed button. We click on that. Um, you can right click and paste. The, uh, the code and then click embed. Now we don't know that that's worked at this point and rather than post it to find it doesn't work you can use the preview button here. But it did work so that's great and we know that's okay. We could we could go and go ahead and post that now but, but I'm not going to. Um, there's one other function you might like to know about which is this one. Send directions to your phone. Now this is pretty good. You click that you can fill the details in your, of your car, and if your car um, supports it, it will send the route directly to your car sat nav. You can email it to yourself, or you can text it to yourself. And if you text it to yourself, you can then open it up on your iPhone. It'll open up in Google Maps. You, you've got to have um, Google Maps, um, the free app, loaded on your phone, and and then press navigate, and it'll navigate the route for you. So that's it. I hope that's been helpful, and. Um, Look forward to seeing some good routes posted out.